So let's consider one of the reactions of uh, carboxylic acids. In an esterification reaction, carboxylic acids will react with alcohols to form esters plus water. This is an equilibrium and it does require an acid catalyst to drive the reaction forward. It takes a certain amount of time to go. So if we take a carboxylic acid, for example, um, propanoic acid and react it with ethanol, the ester that we will get out will be ethyl propanoate. Notice that the propanoic acid bit becomes the propanoate part of the ester and the ethanol becomes the ethyl part of the ester. Now, it is possible to reverse this reaction by taking an ester with water and adding an acid catalyst again. You can drive this reaction in the reverse direction to produce the carboxylic acid and alcohol. So in this case, for ester hydrolysis, you are taking ethyl propanoate plus water to go to propanoic acid plus ethanol. This is what's known as an acid hydrolysis because you use an acid catalyst. The other type of hydrolysis uses sodium hydroxide. This can be equally effective. So if I were to take propanoic acid, uh, sorry, ethyl propanoate and sodium hydroxide, I will not get propanoic acid in this particular case. I will get the sodium salt of the propanoic acid, sodium propanoate, plus the alcohol. This is an alkaline hydrolysis. Now, alkaline hydrolysis has a number of uses. Here is one use of alkaline hydrolysis for making soap. The ester that we take in this particular case is a triester or a triglyceride. Um, triglycerides, of course, are uh, oils or fats. Now, in this particular case, uh, the R group is a long chain hydrocarbon. So we have our triglyceride with our sodium hydroxide. The hydrolysis is exactly the same as the previous case, we're going to produce a carboxylic acid salt plus the alcohol, but the central uh, spine uh, of the alcohol in this particular case contains three OH groups. So therefore, we're going to get a triol. This is propane 1, 2, 3 triol or glycerol, and we're going to form three lots of the uh, fatty acid salt, the long chain carboxylic acid salt, uh, our group you'll notice long chain hydrocarbon, um, and producing the carboxylic acid salt, which is our soap. Now, making biodiesel is a process known as transesterification. It's a very similar sort of process to the saponification, except in this particular case, what we are going to do is we're going to replace the alcohol part of the um, ester uh, with another uh, alcohol. So we're, we're going to make biodiesel, which is essentially a methyl ester. So with this, you will take uh, methanol. Again, you will need sodium hydroxide. You tend to get a mixture of products. But what we'll be looking for is to produce biodiesel, which is the methyl ester for this. Notice it's still a long chain hydrocarbon for the R group. And we're still producing propan, uh, one, propane 1, 2, 3 trial.